Have you ever wondered where the satellites go when they aren't in use anymore? You would probably think that they would keep them in space forever, but that's actually not true. Every year, hundreds of old space tech and satellites come back to Earth. Unfortunately, they don't come to Earth like they go up. They come down to Earth at 28,000 kilometers an hour, and if they crashed on land, they could wipe out an entire city. That's why scientists found a place on Earth that is so remote that even if a satellite did crash there, it wouldn't cause any damage to humans and the impact wouldn't even be heard. You might be wondering where this place is, and how it's so far away from humans. If you would think of a place like this, you would probably think of a place like Antarctic or a desert, but you'd be wrong. It's actually the most lonely place ever, called Point Nemo. Fun fact. Nemo stands for nobody in Latin. That's why this location got the name, because it's so remote that nobody ever comes there. The nearest inhabited landmass to Point Nemo is over 2,700 kilometers away. Anything that crashes there won't even be seen or heard by anyone. If you wanted to go to Point Nemo with a boat, it would take you more than 15 days to get there from the nearest docking place. That's why this place is used to crash old satellites without any human ever noticing. However, a lot of people aren't happy that companies like NASA are randomly dropping millions of tons of old metal into the ocean. Maybe we as humans don't feel anything from it. However, millions of fish are dying because of those actions each year. Climate activists want them to stop doing so and find a better way to get rid of any old satellites such as letting them safely drop on a habitat place so they can recycle the materials. Unfortunately, they keep planning on crashing satellites there. And they even want to crash the 925,000-pound International Space Station there. This will be done by using an advanced parachute system. Otherwise, it would cause waves of up to 200 meters in height. To put that into perspective, the largest wave ever recorded is 30 meters high which was caused by an earthquake. Point Nemo is not only famous for its satellite graveyard, but also for the bloop. This is one of the biggest mysteries for scientists to this day. The bloop is the given name of a mysterious underwater sound recorded in the 90s. The sound was so loud that it could be heard on sufficient amplitude, more than 5,000 kilometers or 3,000 miles from its original origin. To put this into perspective, if the sound came from the central of the United States, you would be able to hear it all the way down in Colombia. This sound was so massive that no scientist could explain what made it. Rumors began spreading of an animal species living in the water that we may have never found before. To compare the sound to a megalodon, which is currently the biggest fish ever known to exist, it had to be more than 10 times bigger to even produce that sound. This would mean that it would need to be more than 150 meters long, which would be the longest fish ever recorded by far. Happily enough, this is only a theory, but scientists are still trying to find out where the sound came from to this very day. Now, let's get back to the satellite graveyard. There are even worse things found at the satellite graveyard. Yes, you heard me right, even worse. Not only do we dump our old satellites there, and there may or may not swim mega sharks. They recently also found microplastics at Point Nemo. We all know that microplastics are the worst of all possible ways to destroy nature, because it's almost impossible to clean the microplastic from water. Up to 26 microplastic particles per cubic meter were found in seawater samples, collected near Point Nemo by passing vessels taking part in the Volvo Ocean Race. More and more concerns are raising over Point Nemo, but not much we can do about it, unfortunately. This was everything you needed to know about the satellite graveyard called Point Nemo. If you found this interesting, make sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this one. Until then, take care.